Then you just put a little hole in it and throw it in your campfire. Okay, kind of fold it up a little bit. Oh, he did that quick. Get your fingers out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And kind of just fold it. There you go. Now blow on it. Without the char cloth, how much it much is it? Much. Um, because those sparks are not hot enough to really catch much of anything else. You can do it. It's just not you really easy. No, you cannot. Turn around. You gotta have the fire. You gotta blow harder. A little bit harder. About to get it going really good. Go. Here he goes. I'm just saying. About to get a fire. You know, if I'm out in the middle of the woods and I don't have fire. See, I think my freak out would be as soon as it catches flame, I'd be like, ah! Well, that's that's the secret. <laughs> so you don't lose your char cloth either. Because once your char cloth burns out, you have to start over again. There, oh, you blow, get it up a little closer and blow hard. There you go. Is it hot on your hands? There, you got flame. You had flame. I had flame just a little was bit. Was it burning your hands? It was getting a little warm. Yeah, just. But a, I was afraid uh, it was going to go. Yeah, that, like, that's well, that, that's thinking. that's the thing. You, you, you want to be in an area where you don't have a lot of um, wind blowing back in your face. So you want to do it downwind. We came in a little bit late. What are the materials y'all are using to make the start? Uh, flint and steel. Oh, okay. Um, a piece of um, um, chert or flint and a, pe and a metal striker. There you go. And that's what holds that. You got. Spark you don't going. have a lot of winds. So it should not flare back up at you. See, I don't like any kind of hot, so I'd be like. I told you not. That's cool though. There it is. There you go. You make fire. Fire good. 